Let's take a look at a plugin to Idris mode that lets you use Helm to search. The first thing I'll do is start up my Idris REPL. So I'll say meta x Idris REPL. Now that, I'm in my, now that I have a working connection to the Idris compiler, Helm can use it as a data source. But why would we want to do that? Well, let, let's see what it's like to search for the documentation without Helm. I will try to look up and, and figure out how it is that I add a character to the beginning of a string. The clear thing to use is the apropos search. So I say control C, control D, A, and then I get to search the documentation and type signatures and function names. And I'll say string beginning, you know, because I'm wanting to add a character to the beginning, and nothing comes back. I get back an empty buffer. So obviously that wasn't the right thing to search for. And I can try more queries, but it's, it's a bit cumbersome. However, if I use Helm's Idris backend, now I can say string, and, and then all of a sudden, all the functions that have something to do with strings appear. And I can navigate through them and see what's there, and refine the list interactively. So beginning doesn't work. What about front? And I see, yes, we have string cons, which adds a character to the front of the specified string. By pressing tab, I can then get some things I can do with that definition, other than just look at it. I can insert it. I can insert it with full qualified, with a, with its full qualification, that is to say, the entire namespace path to it. Or I can look at the docs. Let's look at the docs. I see that it adds a character to the front of a string, and there's a little example of its use. Great. OK. So let's, let's see a few of the other things, just to get you an idea of how this feature works. So let's say we want to figure out what we can use to do input and output. Well, I can look for IO, but that gives me a lot of things that aren't really that. I mean, everything has the word function in it. But in a functional programming language, there's way too many things that have the word function in them. Let's try looking for something that mentions standard input. That works. And by backing out three of those characters, I can see everything that mentions standard input, standard error, or standard output. Great. So what about monads? Everybody likes monads. So let's try Idris Helm again. And then search M-O-N. What comes up? Oh, a few things. And I can see up at the top that there's a compatibility function called return, which calls pure because monads aren't allowed to define pure differently in Idris. Finally, I've noticed that laziness appears in types. And I've, I've noticed that the lazy type, let's find it real quick, uh, is sort of all over the place. You know, it's green. But an interesting thing is that it's actually green in color. So backing this out, I go to my REPL and I type in lazy. And green means that it's actually a function. So what do I do with that function? I, you know, I want to know what it's actually doing. So I, I'll just take a guess and guess that the implementers have written implementation. So I go into Helm, and I say lazy impl, and all of a sudden I get back to this lazy prime, which is the underlying implementation of lazy and inf. Now in Helm, we can use the function keys to run the actions instead of having to go to that tab menu if we know what they are. So I say F3, and I get back the documentation. And now I can see quite a lot of information about Lazy Prime. I hope this has been interesting. You can get a hold of this plugin as a separate package to Idris mode and at github.com slash david-christian slash helm. Thanks for watching.